Aloha, welcome to Keiki Kitchen Hawaii, where we grow, cook, and eat our food. Today we're going to be talking about a Nui Nui Cafe and two fun recipes that Chef John is going to share with us. So call on, come along with us as we make a loco moco and fresh banana pancakes. Aloha. Aloha, welcome to the Nui Nui Cafe. Uh, my name is John Adams, I'm the chef owner. Uh, we're gonna make some uh, local apple banana uh, macadamia, roasted macadamia nut pancakes. I got my two helpers here. We are in a kitchen that we do not measure anything, so there's no precise uh, cups or whatever. We go by taste and feel. Okay, girls? Cool. These are local apple bananas grown in Kaloa. Hawaii. Watch you just mash these up just like this. Okay? And just keep doing that and keep smiling. I'm gonna help out with the nuts. Here's the nuts. Yeah, that's good. Get the bigger chunks, please. Uh, this is just canola oil. Lightly drizzle. Kosher salt to season. Toss. You got that? Sure you do. That looks wonderful, Macy. Keep going. So this is how the, um, this tastes really banana -y. It's better than just chopped bananas on top of plain pancakes. So we're gonna roast these at 350 on a high temperature with a fan on. How's those? That's perfect. You're done. Yay. And then we're gonna go cook some. You ready to cook some? This is clarified butter. butter. It's when you melt the butter and remove the milk solids and the fat. So it holds a nice high temperature. And then when you make a pancake, stir it all around. And put it right in the liquid. So here, you make one. Here, I'll hold this. And you just put it right there. My dad made Mickey Mouse. Oh, you want to make a Mickey Mouse one? Go ahead. There you go, all in one spot. Hooray! <laughs> Don't worry about it. You want to do one? Yeah. So here, put some butter closer to you, so you don't have to reach. Put it right in there, okay? Don't worry about making a mess. I'll clean it. There you go. Or not. There you go. Awesome. You guys have good balance. We'll make one more. So, you basically just leave it alone, see how it's getting brown. So we have a good temperature and it's not gonna burn. Okay, that one looks like it's getting ready. Here's. So, when you flip your pancakes, don't shove it. You don't need to, because of that butter. That. You don't want to flip one. No. It's like the funnest part. <laughs> Whee! See how the butter gives it the crispy edge? Ready? Now flip it. Look. Come on, try one. You can do it. Go, push. You got it. Look how easy that was. Oh. Awesome. Those will be done in about 30 seconds. You like that? Like the mini ones. <laughs> cool. Hello, now we're gonna make some, uh, uh, my version of a loco moco here at a Nui Nui Cafe. 
Um, usually it's a whole burger patty, but I like to break it up. Um, ours is made with a local Kauai thyme, Kauai local parsley, and Kauai uh, Luai Valley oyster mushrooms that are grown right up the street. Um, our local beef is Makaweli Beef Company. They are on the west side of the island. Um, we get a tri-tip and ground beef from them. Okay. And let's pick some parsley. You don't have to be that picky with it, but you don't want the big stem. See, I can watch you and do it at the same time. Are we going to cut our fingers No. No. Here, so this is just called rough chop. Rough chop. We have to switch. So, I think we're ready to cook it all. All right. What do we do with the mushrooms? Is that last? They're done. They can just get tossed in and barely, barely cooked. They just, they take on. No chopping on it? Because you'll see when we cook and they jump down. Okay. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and go to the back. So just a little bit of canola oil. Got to get it hot so you sear the meat. If you put meat in there and it's cold, it's not going to get crispy and it won't, the texture won't be that good. Because I like proteins like fish and meat to be crispy. See how the smoke's coming? Huh? Yeah, you do. Ew? Why ew? Are you a vegetarian? No, so I oh. So I do have some that. So you want to let that sit and get crispy on one side. You don't want to toss it yet. No. Back. Welcome back. We ran away to Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> Stop. It's nothing. It's not going to jump out and get you. So you want to drain off the excess fat. Okay. This is homemade gravy. It's made out of beef stock, flour, um, and thyme. Two ounces, maybe a little more. A little bit of water to thin it out. We're almost done. Remember that tiny chopped? There it is. Then you just put in your raw oyster mushrooms. Dead last. Another pinch of salt and pepper, girls. Salt and pepper brings out flavors. So then, the way we serve it here at a Nui Nui Cafe, we get a ball of rice. Yeah, yum. You like rice. Oh, well, that just made it grosser. Why is it grosser? Because I don't like any of that. It's only rice. If you don't, the camera guys are going to love this thing. So you put the parsley on. And when you put parsley on, go high so it spreads as it falls. There you go. Just let it go. See how it goes all over the place? One more pinch. Cool. Who's tossed? There you go, ladies. Good job. On behalf of Kiki Kitchen Hawaii, we want to say thank you to John and Michelle at Anui Nui Cafe on Kauai. Thank you and aloha. Aloha. Hey, let's go ahead and try. Thanks. I like it a lot.